I'm Melty Yard. Come on, Melty Yard. Gotta work. Hey, Duval, you better get here. You better not be the last man. Man, my blood, my skin, you know, everything is just going, jumping, going through my body. It's a really exciting time. Today was the first day of practice, first day of camp. You know, guys fly around, have fun. Looking forward to this year. I'm really excited. Um, you know, I'm just ready for the season, you know what I mean? You know, God put us in this position. Well, I say um, the transition was, was tough at first because, you know, um, going, I tell you, a tough time is when, you know, that stretch when we were 0-8 my freshman year in the Wheatley days, you know, and then, um, you know, we finished out 2-9 that season. Wilson came in, changed everything around, but, you know, he came in very late last year. So we only had about a couple of weeks until our camp started with him and bringing that new staff in. So I believe uh, the new transition is that we all are more experienced. We understand what's asked of us. And we're going to be very exciting to watch this year. We're going to fly around and be a good football team to watch on Saturday. The culture that Coach Wilson brings in, it, you know, he comes from a winning program. He's always won. And he, he brings that mindset. Like we're an older group. We know what we have to do. You know we have to stay disciplined. Compared to where we were last year, we're so much further along. I mean, like we said, the coaches came in July. We were, a lot of the camp we spent learn, time learning. This time around, we're familiar with the install so we can just hit the ground running. We hear all the talk about how good, you know, our defense could be and, you know, what would happen with our offense, but our offense has improved tremendously. I'm very excited to see them boys play this year. And we know what we have on, on defense, but understanding right now, it's all on paper. So it's about what we're going to do come Saturday, kick off. Right, I think, you know, we're so much more experienced than we were last year. These guys last year was their first time really getting to play college ball and get the feel of it, to be confident out there. And with Coach Sherman, I mean, it helps so much when you get to rep an offense in a fall, a spring, and back to a fall, compared to learning something new. And his offense just, it puts guys in the right spot. And what we have to do is just go out there and make it play. So I think with the guys we have, we expect to do really big things, and we just got to go do it. As an offense, when you know what you're doing and you're familiar with play calls, lining up, it becomes, you know, muscle memory. Now it's time to put it all together and be ready for game one. That's part, that's part of it, man. You be all right, though. That's part of it. You got to work your mind now, right? You got to work your mind and work your feet. It's just because you don't know, and, and strength-wise, you get stronger every day. Uh, I circle week one. I mean, Ultimately, you gotta come. You gotta come prepared. It's how we're gonna start, right? And I know that uh, for us, we get a chance to play some really competitive non-conference games before we go into conference. Obviously, the MIAC champs, Central, always a big game. Every game is, is important for us. You know, we want to have a winning record. We want to be successful. So it starts with Richmond Week One. There's a few games last year that affected me, you know, as a player. So I say every game that we lost on that last two-minute drive situation is at Norfolk. Um, Stony Brook and Towson were probably my biggest three in getting revenge. So I'm excited for those, but they're not more special than anybody else on the schedule. The pressure's gonna come. You know, people are gonna talk what they're gonna talk. People are gonna talk bad stuff, people are gonna talk good stuff. But just as much as you can't focus on the negative, you can't focus on the positive. You gotta focus on you and what's right now. So it's just about staying hungry and keeping everybody around me hungry. What matters is how we, we basically handle our own business. You know, that basically stops all the talk. Like, we were ranked fourth in the MEAC. What should matter is what we put on the field every game. Just focus on ourselves. We don't really got to focus on anybody else. Just understand that every day, every week, we got to come out there. We got to dominate and do our job to the best of our ability. We're not really in a position to be talking right now. Like, we got to let our play talk, right? So when the pads come on, when we go through camp, for us it's about, all right, let's 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 figure out who we are in week one, let's go play. And we don't need to talk and tell people how good we're going to be. We don't need to tell the MIAC, you got to look out for us, all this and that. You got to show up. So that's how I see it. Really, we just got to, it's all internal. There's nothing I could do. It's only on themselves, on each player. We got to understand that every day we got something to prove. Nothing's ever promised, not even tomorrow. So every day we just got to keep going out there and getting 1% better. For us, like, we just want to have success, win games, and that ultimately brings fans to the stadium. You know, that gets people mo talking about Morgan, talking about everything. And it's, you know, he's, he's preached that since day one, as soon as he came in here. It starts with, you know, guys buying into what he's selling. Um, and it's a winning culture, that's where he comes from. It impacts the campus, it impacts our enrollment, it impacts everything. The football team wins, the campus wins.
Just really staying disciplined, locking in and dominating, understanding that we got to win every rep. Regardless, our expectation is to win every rep. It's that simple. Better every day, 1% win. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't you stop! A yard away from your day ain't gonna lie. Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! We're not going 99, I don't get a touchdown. Don't stop! Everybody, over back, everybody! Give me what you got, don't cheat me! Morgan State Brotherhood.